In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. One God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church. And this is the good news. Thanks be to God. The scripture in today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John chapter 15 verses 1 through to 5. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me, and in him, bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to bear much fruit. In the short reading from St. John, we, it talks about union and communion with Christ. As followers of Jesus Christ, as his disciples. We need to be in union with him, in communion with him. As was the example of the vine, the great vine, Jesus is the vine. We are his branches. From us, it bears fruit. The source of the life comes from Jesus Christ. If we do not have this life in us, we die, just the same way as a grapevine would. If we do not bear fruit, as Jesus was saying, the vine dresser, which is the Father, will cut us away. But we don't need to, as Jesus said, because of the word of God. From the word of God we bear fruit. Yes, that's important for us. And this is why it's important for us to read the word of God. And from reading that, we are being fed. And from that we are bear fruit good, healthy fruit because of the word of God that is within us. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Without Jesus in our lives, we are dead. We can do nothing. So during this Lenten season, make sure you feed yourself on the word that you can then bear fruit. Yes, it is important. Very important. Or we will die without it. The word gives us life, just like the sap that's in the vine. You cut that away, it's dead. It just reminds me the other day I was pruning our grapevine. And you could see where the branches were dead. 
and you just cut them away and there's nothing there's no life in them good only for the fire and then once it's been fed it starts then to bloom again blossom you'll see the green buds coming out and eventually the grapes as well being fed so we should feed ourselves too on the word feed ourselves also with the precious body and blood of Christ when you go to the liturgy make sure you receive the body and blood of Christ every day give God the glory for the opportunity to feed your soul with the word and with the communion. Glory to you, O God, glory. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Amen.